Is it the cancer? Is that what did this to her? Yes, the pressure from her tumor was most likely the cause of her seizure. I want to check on her latest MRI. Sweetie, I'll be back, okay? Angela. I've seen the MRI. I just had to get out of there. I know what you're thinking. Don't do this to yourself. She didn't want to be resuscitated. She signed a paper. Natalia begged you to do something. And I gotta tell you, I couldn't take seeing her like that, Angela. But you're not the doctor who, who went against the patient's wishes. All right. Please, don't beat yourself up about this. You don't have to do that, doctor. I can do it for you. She's never waking up, is she? God, is she even alive? There still is brain activity. Well, what does that mean? Does she have dreams, thoughts, or is it just nothing? I can't tell you that. I don't have the answers, except there's always a chance. Would you give me some time alone with Dr. Hubbard, please? We have some urgent hospital business to discuss. I'm going to go check in with the station. I'll be back. <sighs> so many tragedies lately, huh? It's been a difficult time. Mm. Difficult choices to make. And yet this poor woman went through the trouble to make sure that no difficult choices would be made on her behalf. A do not resuscitate form was signed, one you apparently violated. Is that right? Doctor's instincts kicked in. She was begging me to save her mother. Mm. So it was your difficult choice. I'm glad you understand. What you did affects this hospital. You put her on life support. She signed a document specifically stating that no such action be taken. What are you suggesting I do? Explain yourself to the ethics committee and then take her off. Allow this woman to die the way she wanted to, the way she instructed us to. Otherwise, this hospital is going to be knee-deep in all when sorts of... When in the hell did you appoint yourself chief of staff? And who in the hell do you think you are giving me orders? If you would like Joe to give you this order, I could make that happen. Do I really have to point out that you're too close to this case? I'm merely telling you exactly what Joe and the board would tell you to do. Tell you to do what? You and Dr. Hubbard need to discuss what happens next. She'll explain everything to you. What's going on? Natalia. Natalia, your mother is on life support, and it is not what she wanted. Now, the do not resuscitate form makes her wishes very clear. I have an obligation to follow those wishes. What are you saying? We have to take her off the machine. <laughs> and when you do, she'll die. No, no, you can't do that. I don't care what she signed. You can't do it. I don't know what to do. David's gonna make sure that this is taken out of my hands. You know what? You buy as much time as you can with the hospital. I'm going to talk to Natalia. Make sure she's at peace with what her mother wants, OK? Angie, uh, did you resuscitate and put on life support a, a woman who had filed a DNR with us? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. At the urging of her daughter. Uh -huh. Did the lady uh, understand the document she signed? Yes, she did. I explained it to her myself. Uh, well, you've placed the hospital at risk. I think the first mistake was allowing Dr. Hubbard to treat this patient in the first place. Treating patients so close to family oftentimes lead to ethical dilemmas. <laughs> Why, Maya? Well, I'm sure you yourself have never done any such thing, have you, Doctor? Joe, I was just trying to give her daughter time to say goodbye. I mean, you, you can see the sense in that, can't you? 
Well, we're going to have to present the case to the Ethics Committee, but I can tell you right now what their response is going to be. They'll give you 24 hours, and that's it. Then we honor the patient's wishes. Excuse me, please. If you're feeling too squeamish to turn off the machines, I'm willing to assist. One. Go to hell. You're wasting your time on that chart. Sweetie, this is out of our hands. We all have our time. And your mother knew that hers was here. All right? And it's hard as she fought she was at peace with this <laughs> now she also knew that she didn't want this so baby we have to respect her wish please don't make me say goodbye i don't want to say goodbye <laughs> We've got 24 hours. That's all. She refuses to accept it. I mean, it doesn't matter a day, a month. She won't let go. I'm going to talk to her. This is my responsibility. Excuse me. Tell them you didn't mean to sign those papers. Please, Mom. We were just getting things back to the way we wanted them. You can't leave me now. You just can't. No, no. No, I'm not going to let you do this. I tell you, you have to accept. You need to say goodbye to your mom. It's what she wanted. No, that's what you wanted. You wanted her dead since the moment she got here. <laughs>